Hey, welcome back to another edition of Avid Golfer Magazine's Fearless Fantasy Forecast. Let's pat ourselves on the back a little bit. There's a reading Craig's dressed up today. He picked the winner as a stone cold lock, Dustin Johnson. I, I did. I did. So you ought to wait till the end here. But you didn't pick them all three teams. Well, I picked. I, I don't told care. you. No, so I, I picked care. two teams and I said, all right, I'm taking a buffer team. But the, he was on my uh, two. He was uh, on my two. And not so. only that, I picked a guy who's the first guy ever. Masters history to have all four rounds in the 60s. How cool is that? How about that? So we I think won he a finished bit of time for a second, didn't he? I think or somewhere like around that. there. Good enough. So, we right. rocked. Yes, we did. And now we're about to roll. Yeah. So this week is the RSM Classic. <laughs> Defending champ, Tyler Duncan. I didn't either. But I did pick the guy who came in second and lost in a playoff the year before and won the year before that. Hmm. And that's not my little modus operandi there. I usually am looking for momentum now, but I took a guy who this rocks this golf course. All right, you're all dressed up. Go first. Okay, so I have three guys on both teams. How about that? I've got Harris English. You know, <clears throat> I think Ru uh, Russ Henley um, has been kind of outplaying this Georgia Bulldog, but, you know, he's made 21 to 24 cuts this year. Okay. And... He's only missed one since July. He's rock star esque. All right. I've got uh, Peter Malnati. I'm sure you picked him too because he was just cheap. He's got four straight um, cuts made, and he's two of them have been in the top ten. Yeah. So for what he was priced, I took him. And then I also took Denny McCarthy. My love affair stays. Mm -hmm. Here's a here's well, I'll give you a stat on him later. But he has made nine a ton ten cuts, and he has a couple top tens in the last four weeks. All right. So or last four uh, starts, he didn't play in the Masters. So those are my three on all three teams. Mm -hmm. My first team, I got Webb Simpson. Horses for courses. He, You're coming around my side now. I I'm, just I'm smelling it. Well, here's the thing. He's rock star esque in terms of who he is. Anyway, can't have that so many rock stars. And he, he plays this. He's the best. He's the chalk of this tournament, Well, that's right? why he's the highest price. So, and he plays. He's been playing very well, and he plays here well. I took Lee Westwood. If Lee Westwood's playing in a tournament like this, mm -hmm. I'm taking Lee Westwood. Yeah, but he didn't do so well. I he's don't been... care. All if right. he's playing in this, there's a reason he, I'd take Lee Westwood. Right. And then in this, this other, I took a value. Michael <clears throat> Glidgick. $6,400. He's made his last three cuts. He tied for 11th at Bermuda. Uh, he got in his first alternate. Okay. 6400 bucks. He's on a roll. I took him. My other team, real quick, I took Cameron Davis. He just makes cuts. Mm. Uh, he's made his last eight. I took Dylan Fratelli. I like the way he played the Masters. I Why just wouldn't you? did. I, yeah. I mean, he didn't He didn't win. He didn't even finish in the top five. But I like the way first he played. First time he'd ever played it. Uh, yes. And so... Here's a here's a guy. I, look, this is sneaky not a lot. Long too. He's not sneaky anymore. He's yeah. just long. Yep. He, this is not a course for long players. This is a course that a Ryan Armour or a, shot makers. A, a Stort Singh can do well. But I I feel good about him. And then if I'm going to take Lee Westwood because he's playing in this event, and I got to take Lee Westwood, then we're longer playing. I'm taking Louis Oosthuizen <laughs> because he's playing in this thing. And if he's playing, he's got to be doing something sm well here. And so. I just took him. Can't argue with you. There's and, no there's no strength of field so far this week. It's only Tuesday. They're, I guess they're trying to figure out who's going to make it and who not. I don't I know. At, but I will give you my Stone Cold Lock after you're done. Okay. Because we're on a roll. Yes. I did look at Brian Gay. Okay. He's out. I, I was going to look at him. I made one more peek, and he's already out. So I don't know if he got COVID or what. Okay. But he did pretty well at this event. Okay. So I took four guys on two teams. I, Whoa. I took the headliner, Webb Simpson. Lost in a playoff last year, third, last two times he played. Peter Malnati, just like you. Low, low value, and this guy's finished 21st, 5th, and 2nd. So what's wrong with him? You not take a shower or something? <laughs> I mean, okay, now I'm running with this guy till he just dies. Sebastian Munoz, 19th, 4th, and 9th against really good competition, four straight top 25s. I, you're underselling him. I, I, the two guys I, I keep picking them. How I, can I, I, I look two guys who I didn't take this week, and one of them was Sebastian Munoz. He's money, man. He's he's playing against top fields. I mean, do you realize he finished fifth in the FedEx Cup last year? Yeah, sixth. He's sixth. sixth. I'm yep. sorry, but first time ever. First time ever. Yep, pretty good. And I took 
Austin Cook. Who? You go, who? Well, he finished 11th and 1st in this tournament. Okay. All right. And he was cheap. All right. My other two teams, I picked Denny McCarthy just like he did. He was 8th last year. Keeps just making cuts. Took Stewart Sink. He's missed the last two cuts, but he's been playing really well. And he finally got his kid back on the bag, according to Craig. So his kid doesn't show up, his fault. Other team, Kevin Kistner. He may be staying in his own bed this week. That doesn't help you. What, it didn't help a couple of weeks ago. I think it helps. Danny Lee didn't, didn't help him. Remember, he was going to play in, uh, staying in Vegas. You He's mean staying in his own Kevin bed. Kevin Nah. Kevin Nah. Danny Lee lives around okay, the corner. Okay, him too. Here. Yeah, him too. <laughs> One of those guys. Okay, so Kevin Kistner, he missed a cut last year. That wasn't been, your best moment, but by the way. But he's been seventh, <laughs> he's been fourth, and he's been first in this event. I like it. And then the other guy I took, another uh, horse, of course, is Ryan Armour. Didn't cost anything. Tied for 15, 37, 36. Yeah. Okay, Stone Cold Lock. I, th I thought about Harris English. He's mm. just playing that well. But give me Denny McCarthy. Ooh. Shot a little... 62 at this event last year. Mm -hmm. He played well. He finished in the top 10. And here, let me give you a stat for you. Ooh, I like stats. In 2018, he was first in shots game putting, strokes game putting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In 2019, he was first in strokes game putting. Okay. Early in 2021 season, he's 44th. Ooh. Guess what? He's going to make his way up. He's going to make his way up, and he's going to start this week. Don't not take Denny McCarthy. Don't not. This is what he said, okay? All right, so there's your Fearless Fantasy Forecast RSM Classic. Check out our uh, YouTube page on YouTube. <laughs> uh, Avid Golfer, is, please subscribe to that. And uh, check out the T-Box every Saturday morning from 8 to 10 on the ticket. And I'm two for two after this week when Denny McCarthy finishes in the top three. We'll see. All that next. All that week. next. <laughs>